Question is from Matador30. How would you strength train for endurance events like marathons where low body weight is key to running faster? Okay, so first off, strength benefits everybody. Okay, strength is a is a foundational physical pursuit. So if you're an endurance runner and we kept everything equal, you're, you're, you're same body weight, you know, everything's the same. The only difference is I, I added 50% more strength to your body. You are going to notice a dramatic increase in your endurance. Um, strength contributes to endurance. So it is an important component of your training. That being said, if you want to get really, really good at distance running, the vast majority of your time should be spent on improving your ability to run for distance. In this case, resistance training typically is, you know, once a week of traditional resistance training and maybe correctional exercise added to that, you know, like priming stuff. Mm. And that's pretty much it. I've trained quite a few marathon runners. And when I would do more than one day a week of traditional resistance training, because marathon training is, is, is a lot. You're running miles and miles every single day. You're doing lots and lots of road work. And if I threw two days a week of resistance training on that person, oftentimes it would be a little bit too much. Yeah. So what I would do is one well, day a week. It, it, I may even prioritize mobility over over that, to, to be honest, just because of the the sheer like repetitive stress that you're continuously placing on on your joints. It, because it, it inevitably you're you're just doing one thing that mm -hmm. whole time for a very long period of time. Uh, and, and to be able to then reinforce and help to, um, you know, build more support and, and stability around the joints is going to be crucial. That obviously strength training is a component to that. Uh, in, in terms of gaining size and more muscle, like I mean, a lot of that is going to be derived from the nutrition, though. Yes, yes. It also matters if you're if you're a, a marathon runner who wants to be stronger, or are you somebody who wants to be strong and then also wants to marathon run. Right, right, right. Are you trying to get better at marathons? Right. Mm -hmm. So it, it depends on on how how you answer that question to yourself because if you're if you come to me and you're somebody who is a marathon runner and you want to you just want to build some strength because uh, you know that you've heard us talk about the importance of strength and it does have carryover and it's going to benefit you then the training looks like what Sal or Justin's saying. Maybe one day a week of strength training or maybe even to Justin's point, mostly mobility because all those things are going to help uh, build strength while complementing your marathon running. But if you come to me and you're like, hey, I really want to get stronger, but I also love to run marathons, like the conversation is different. I might have you strength training two to three days a week and then on your off days, we're, we're progressively increasing our runs so you can run a longer distance. But the but my priority is building strength. Mm -hmm. So it all depends on what's more important to you. The, they're conflicting, although strength has its carryover, they're conflicting messages that you're kind of sending the body. I want to be very good at long endurance, which is going to train your body to be very efficient uh, metabolically. That's really challenging when you're also trying to send a signal, I want to build strength, build yep. muscle, which is the opposing yep. signal. So it really... It's about what is more important to you, and then you prioritize the programming around that. Now, best exercises, in my experience uh, with marathon runners, and of course, uh, there's, it depends on the individual, so I'm going to give you some general answers. I love lunges uh, for, for runners in general. I love lateral lunges. Um, because running is such a forward mm, uh, sagittal plane it, only. Yeah, it's all it's all moving in front of you. Lateral movements, um, so like lateral lunges. I like lateral sled drags. Mm -hmm. I like doing with my marathon runners. And then marathon runners typically benefit tremendously from really really good uh, back strengthening exercises. Uh, running can really cause. Uh, for anybody who runs a lot, you know you get that kind of forward shoulder posture. Mm -hmm. That can get exhausting. It can cause some neck strain. So I like to strengthen my marathon runners with you know rows, you know single arm dumbbell rows or cable rows, just to strengthen their mid back. And then of course core training, uh, core training. You want to do some strength training for the core. And it's funny when I, I had a, a couple yeah. uh, runners that I trained for the Boston Marathon, and it was funny if I trained their legs really hard. They were able to right after the workout go and run, you know, fifteen or ten miles, and they'd notice a little bit of a decrease in performance. But they, for the most part, they're okay. If I trained their core really hard, they couldn't run that day. That's how important the your core strength is to that that long distance type of repetitive running motion. 
because it's what connects the upper and lower body. Right. So yeah. core, strengthen your core. Because when that fatigues, I mean, you're just basically like running on, you're sitting on your joint. At you, that you become super inefficient with yeah. your running and you're just exerting a lot of energy trying to run, uh, you know, long distance. I, I also see a lot of value in addressing uh, ankle mobility and foot strength stuff oh, too, yeah. because what's really common that you get is, is issues like peroneals or you get issues with shin splints. Um, oh, tibialis raises. Right. I love tibialis right. raises. Working for, dorsiflexion. For so focus yep. on on working a combat stretch. So uh, this is very, very common that you get um, shin splints or have any of those issues I was mentioning uh, from running and that repetitive movement. So addressing good ankle mobility and foot strength uh, is is a must in, in programming for me for somebody like yep. this to help support that. Now, I'll tell you what, if you're a runner, uh, one of the best programs you can invest in that will make a tremendous impact on you is MAPS Prime and MAPS Prime Pro. What you would do is going through MAPS Prime, for example, do the compass test, identify what your priming session would look like, and then do that before your runs. Forget the resistance training. Mm -hmm. Do it before you do your runs and then watch what happens with your running performance, how much smoother you feel when you run because you primed yeah. appropriately. It'll help to establish better patterns for you uh, getting out there in the run. 